Welcome to Cards Retro Reviews. It's summer, so now we uh, need to whip out the uh, Nintendo Wii and play some games. Uh, this time around, I'll be playing uh, Exile Truck. Um, so, um, I think uh, we're going to play some. All right, I've got the Wii controller here, so let's let's see how we go. I'm pretty sure this is how you play the game. Since I've yet to cover off any Wii titles for Carter's Retro Reviews, maybe I should start off with one of the launch titles. And instead of reviewing Wii Sports like anyone would typically think to review since it was a flagship title, I've thrown a curveball and decided to go with a game I love as much as fat chick porn, but not as predictable. In fact, the only thing that's predictable is my love for this game. In a way, I see it as a reflection on me. It's fun and reckless, not to mention completely implausible. There are a few really nice touches that make it go from an average game to something quite excellent. It's not my favourite Wii game, but fuck, it's certainly up there. Which in itself is a little sad, really, because this was a launch title and the Wii had hundreds of games in its library, which means once this game was released, there weren't too many that surpassed it. I had to do some research on where this game came from because I know that there was another Excite game on the Wii, Excite Bots. Which means that there had to be other Excite games, right? Not to mention, I know of Excite Bike 64, one of the best racing games for the 64. And only recently have I discovered the original Excite Bike game for the NES, since I never really owned the original console. It was critically acclaimed and naturally enough pooped out sequels. The graphics aren't amazing for the generation they were in, but considering the Wii's graphical capabilities, they're modest and they do the job. Sony had released the PlayStation 3 not long after, which had incredible graphic power by comparison. But if you're going to be making comparisons, I don't know many games at this point in the PlayStation 3's library that were this fun. The handling in the game is amazingly responsive. And I say amazing because it uses the Wii control features as a steer left and steer right, and by golly, do they work well. One of the implausible aspects of the game, which I actually thought was pretty good, was the ability to turn in mid-air. I realise in reality if you're heading for something and you want to get out of the way, you can't just decide to turn left or right to avoid it, but in this game, you can. In the single player mode, you can race against the clock, computer players, and on top of it, you can earn stars to get better ratings, which all contribute to better items like more colours and unlockable cars. It also balances skill levels exceptionally well. As someone who's not terribly great at games, it didn't fuck me hard in the arsehole and eased me in before upping the ante. I don't know if there's any other game I can compare it to all that accurately, but the closest thing I can think of was Burnout. Maybe. The music is alright, but even if you don't dig the music, you're able to put MP3s on an SD card. Which is a great idea and it should be implemented more. The camera movement is great, and the tracks are great. This game was made by Monster Games Inc., who have done NASCAR games, not surprisingly, Test Drive Eve of Destruction, Pilot Wings Resort for the DS. Those games concentrate more on the arcade style gameplay and less with the nitty gritty and realism. Which brings me to the next question. What is fun really? The thing is you can't say that one thing is fun and that is the reason why you should buy it because some people find car driving simulators fun even though some would argue that you get bogged down in detail and you're not really having fun. Or some people find shooting things all day long as fun. Whereas I find that monotonous and dull without some other element to it. So if your argument for a game is that it's a ton of fun and that's why you should give it a high score, is that really a good enough recommendation? I guess coupling that with the gameplay should be able to at least get a feel for whether you want to play this game or whether you want to add it to your collection or not. Would I recommend it? Fuck yes. Go buy it now. No, stop listening to me right now. Go on to eBay and buy this. Go! I 
I have a Facebook fan page, which is kind of a big deal. I also have a Twitter account. And also click on the TV if you want to see last week's review.